Good morning, students, and welcome to week three of our course. We're starting to really hit our stride now, and I sure do appreciate and value your commitment and the quality of your work and the spirit with which you are doing it. I thoroughly enjoyed our time in our Zoom meeting last evening, and I want to let those who could not be there for the reasons that you shared with me that we missed you and uh, we're looking forward to your connection to that video that I will post the link for later today. I'm asking all of those that were not able to attend to watch the session within 48 hours and then email me to confirm that you have. I just want to be sure that you were able to take full advantage of that. I know we're in this window where we're transitioning out of one week to the next, but I, I would really uh, need to hear from you. So. Be sure to watch the video, those of you who were not in attendance, and email me within 48 hours to confirm with me that, that you have done that. Okay, moving into week three now. We continue our study of what began in week two concerning God's grand story of building his kingdom. We're looking at creation and the concepts in scripture that we have been called to be priests God's vice regents, right, to work in tandem with him. That helps us identify our purpose and calling in life. Thank all of you who have already submitted that What Is My Purpose short essay in week two. I will be responding to those starting today. If you've not submitted that yet, be sure to do so by this coming Wednesday because that's a vital assignment coming out of week two. We're also looking, beginning in week two, now spanning into week three, readings that help us understand God's work of restoring, um, rebuilding his relationship with humanity following the fall of humanity due to disobedience and sin. So he's built a kingdom. He started with Abraham and then through Moses and finally after Moses, um, we have David, the kingdom uh, um, icon, who is the ruler, who is the lineage from which the ultimate king of God's kingdom, God incarnate, Jesus the Christ, will come. And we're going to be doing reading in John chapters 1 through 3, chapters 1, 2, and 3 in the New Testament Gospel of John. And I made this connection with us in our session last night for those that were present. Genesis 1.1 says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. John chapter 1 verse 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. He created all things, and by him, or without him rather, nothing that has been created has been created. And then verse 14 says, And the word became flesh, and dwelled among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. We're going to be writing in our dialogue groups. This is our first dialogue uh, discussion group assignment about the nature of Jesus as the Word. Co-creator, the second part of the Godhead or the Trinity, God the Son, incarnating to become the Son of God. And we're going to be writing in our discussion groups about two aspects of Jesus as the Word. So we're going to be taking what we've read this week what we've read up to this point, but particularly what we've read in week three. And we're going to write two ways, discuss two ways that Jesus is vital in being the Word, the co-creator, the God incarnate to God's work in his kingdom. You've got some examples of how you could write on these two aspects. Um, for example, um, we're told that he is co-creator. So that how does that help us understand things out of Genesis chapters 1 through 3 that we've read, right? Uh, John, his older cousin, the one that we call the Baptist, refers to Jesus in John chapter 1 as the Lamb of God, 
So how does that help us understand what God is doing in um, redeeming us from our sins now that we have experienced the fall and the separation from God? I'm asking you to be very specific in these two aspects. Talk about Jesus, God incarnate, in these two ways in your original post. That's to be 300 to 350 words. I want you to demonstrate that you have a good working knowledge of what our course materials have been this week. Don't just go in and write what you think about Jesus, but reflect that you have read the materials, you understand the materials, and you make reference to the materials. You do that by uh, Thursday night, um, and that assignment is finished, and then the following reply that you make is this coming Sunday. So the original assignment is due on Thursday the 25th, and the um, reply is due on the following Sunday the 28th. It's a two-part two assignment. There is a rubric uh, connected right to the assignment prompt in course content week three, right next to the assignment uh, uh, prompt. So be sure to read through that so you know what a good, substantive, well-documented, formatted, uh, original work and reply will look like. That gives you the, the window into providing the best work to get the best grade, to have the greatest experience. Looking forward to that. Uh, thank you so very much. I'm nearby if needed, and I'm praying for you daily. Let's have a great week three together.